What's going on out there, YouTube? We're back. It's Vlogus 14th. I did not make a video yesterday. Um, there wasn't really a whole lot going on yesterday. I didn't really have a whole lot to say, to be honest. It was kind of just work, go home, eat, go to sleep, that type of day. It wasn't very exciting. But I'm back today and uh, sitting here at the gas station filming a video. I have the car wash running in the background, so I'm sorry if you guys hear that. I don't know if it's coming through on the camera or not. It's hot. It's hot as balls out here. It's like 100 degrees or something like that. So I'm sitting in the car sweating. Uh, I should probably have the AC on to be honest, but I'll do that in a minute. And what I wanted to touch on today is the eternal question of do vegans suck? Do vegans suck? Do we suck? Um, yeah, on some level. On, on some level, I think so. Um, I, my friend of mine, uh, who's not totally vegan, but does eat a lot of plant-based stuff, directed me to a conversation on a certain Facebook page. Now, this conversation had nothing to do with veganism. It had nothing to do with anything even remotely close to that. And randomly a, a vegan person I, I think they might have even been from my hometown in portland had all of a sudden come on the comment section and started ripping the guy for being a meat eater and i couldn't figure out why they were even doing that necessarily there wasn't really any reason again it wasn't relevant to the conversation that was happening now i don't have a problem with vegans coming in with valid points defending their own arguments and so forth like that when it's relevant to the conversation or when it's necessary, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I think you have a belief system. You're entitled to your belief system. If you want to discuss that with others, if you want to, you know, try to provoke thought or try to uh, convince others that this is the way to go and maybe what they're doing isn't right for them or, um, you know, to, to the best of what they can be anyway, that's one thing. But this was completely irrelevant. So it kind of struck a, a nerve because these... Those type of situations is what pisses people off and turns them away from the whole veganism thing or going plant-based or whatever you want to call it. It's people like that that butt in when they're not necessarily welcome and start coming up with irrelevant arguments. Now, some of the stuff that she said was true, I 100% agree with a lot of the stuff she was saying about different documentaries that you should watch, uh, valid arguments on how animal suffering is fucked up and it shouldn't be happening. Um, you know, the whole livestock industry and so forth. I think these are great arguments. I don't disagree with them at all, but there's a time and a place for them. And when you don't know the person and the conversation isn't even remotely related to that, you shouldn't butt in there and, and give people um, a bad taste in their mouth for veganism, basically, based on that. Now, reading through the conversation, it continued, they argued back and forth, you know, um, blah 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 I don't know it was kind of boring to be honest but uh, another person had butted in um, <laughs> and and their argument was um, was simple that a field a one acre field I, I don't know if that was exactly what they said but a field of cows would produce more calories than a field of lettuce and that may be true you <laughs> That may be true because lettuce does not have a lot of calories. This is true. Um, but they also stated that growing vegetables destroys the land and that um, cows being you know, put in the land for grazing purposes and so forth is more beneficial to the land and provides more food than growing vegetables ever could. <laughs> That's where you're wrong. So that's completely untrue. So growing the vegetables, as long as you're alternating your, your you know, crops and so forth and, and putting back minerals in the soil that need to be back in there that get depleted by the former plants that were in there, there, there isn't really a problem necessarily. Yeah, eventually the soil might, you know, start to wear out, but cattle grazing destroys land more than fucking anything. So if you put a number of cows on a small amount of land, they're going to rip through that shit pretty quickly actually and then you're going to be left with basically a desert like we have here in idaho that's basically what happens to land when when cows get a hold of it cows people don't seem to understand this but cows are an invasive species they're not native to the united states they were brought over here and they basically destroy everything that they get their little hooves on um, not that cows are bad or evil or anything like that that's just how they are that's you know it 
wild cows is one thing, but when we start producing them in mass numbers and putting them on land and letting them roam around and graze and so forth, they'll destroy the land. Simple as that. And on top of that, cutting down rainforest for grazing purposes seems a lot more destructive than, you know, raising or growing potatoes on land or growing any kind of vegetable on land for that matter anyway. Just seems like a really weird argument to bring up, but but it goes both ways. Not all vegans bring up valid arguments. Not all meat eaters or omnivores, whatever the fuck you want to call yourselves, bring up valid arguments either. Um, both can be wrong. I'm not saying I'm 100% right in every case because that's not that's not true. I'm sure I've been wrong on certain things. But um, because I wasn't actually friends with the person that this post um, came from, I couldn't reply or, or anything like that. And I probably shouldn't anyway. I should probably just let them be in their fantasy land and do whatever the hell they want. Uh, but it was entertaining and just kind of something that I just wanted to, to touch on just briefly anyway. Um, but I don't want this to, to sound like I'm hating on beings because I'm not. I think we have, we do have good arguments for why we do what we do, whether that's for ethical reasons, whether that's for health reasons, whether that's for the environment, doesn't matter what your reason is. I'm sure you have a valid argument for why you're doing it. And I encourage you to share that argument when when it's necessary or when the time is right, when it's appropriate, when it's relevant to the situation that you're in. I think we do need to, to spread the message. That's why I walk around wearing my vegan shirt here in Idaho and I look like a complete fucking alien basically. But, but again, there's a time and a place. Let's not give ourselves a bad name by butting in to conversations that number one, aren't relevant to what we're saying and number two, aren't the audience that we really wanna reach anyway. So. That's all I had to say. Um, anyway, guys, hope you guys are having a good good weekend. It's Sunday. Tomorrow's my Friday, luckily. So I'm off work. I'm going to go cook up some stir-fry noodles and some purple cauliflower and call it a night. Till next time, guys, take care.